So in the early 60s, my dad wanted a little bit more property. We were in the city. He decided to move out of town, get out in the country a little bit. He bought himself a big old 200-year-old house and needed a lot of work. And uh, needless to say, through that growing up and working on the house experience, I think that's kind of embedded in our DNA for, for the building business. In 1983, I had some resumes out on the street, wasn't getting many phone calls. I was already working in construction, doing side work and weekend work and making a couple dollars here and there. So I decided, well, nobody's knocking, so I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. And that's kind of how we got started. More on a default basis, but looking back on it, it was a good decision. With any business, it was a matter of evolving. I think in the mid 80s, I picked up my oldest brother, Wally. It was a natural fit. He was working in the construction business. And then shortly thereafter, I picked up Timmy. We probably started working together through the summers of the late 80s. Timmy probably came on board probably officially in 88, 89. And then our last brother was Chris. He was in school working on his degree. When he graduated, we thought we could use his skill set, so we picked him up in the early 90s. So really in a matter of less than a decade, we picked up all the owners. My dad originally was a tool maker. I believe it was probably in the mid-90s that he retired after 35 years of service at Bethlehem Steel. He was a good fit for the company. He came in and started doing punch out, miscellaneous task at the end of the job. Very engaging individual, always there, kind of with the customer through the end. And then when my mom took ill some years ago, that he had to kind of fade back out of the business and really get back into like taking care of healthcare and things like that. Now he's in his golden years. He's just taking care of business and and doing years, his own years of service. I look at my father as both a mentor and I believe an inspiration. From the standpoint of watching him raise eight kids and, and his approach to life and how he handled things, I think that was my mentoring phase. I think my inspiration phase was just his hard work ethic, his, his drive, his constant, always on top of things, always kind of working at it. When you have eight kids, you're working at something. There's always something that has to be done. So I think when you're searching for a contractor, it's like anything in life. You go on the internet, you do your homework there, you look at opinion websites, you go to many, as many resources as possible. I think in the end, contractors are very similar. I think when you look for a contractor, it's important that your project fit that company. And that goes in a couple different ways. One is chemistry. And then two is their business model, does that fit what you're trying to do? Not every remodeling and home building company will fit that customer's needs. So you gotta look for that company that kind of well rounds what you're trying to do. And I think when it comes to Owings Brothers, we're that main street type of contractor. We're down there, we're like the old gas station that's on the corner, same people, they've been there forever. They've been doing the same thing for many years. I think that's kind of who we are. We try to keep those principles intact and we try to bring that to each every job. I think that makes us unique. I can't think of any other company that has four owners and brothers that are principals in a company.